Good morning. And I'm Derek and, and I have been doing orange bases. I'm making a, a squad of uh, 12 guys, 12 tactical marines with uh, three alternates. So a heavy bolter, a couple special weapons and uh, a second sergeant in, in case I want to split the squad up into two small squads. So I have been working on a, a new standard bearer. And I got three, three bases. The, the first, of course, is uh, just primer. And then just a dry brush of orange. And then A, a wash with this uh, this beautiful teal that I just keep in a, a jar, just, just, just some kind of jar, not any kind of particular jar at all. But it's it's a good jar. It's good to have just a bunch of jars around for um, keeping washes. Just have a bunch of washes ready to go and then you don't have to read or don't have to mix them and they're always the same, and uh, that's really kind of awesome. So, standard bearer is using some rescue legs that didn't really work out on a, another model. I'm doing I'm just using this uh, older brush, and I am just covering it with just the, just the slightest bit of orange. Like not much at all. And I'm, I'm really mistreating the brush. That's, that's an important thing. Yeah. I have to mistreat the brush uh, and get it to be kind of way too crappy for anything else. And then it is the perfect brush to use. And I kind of glued in his standard a bit, bit harder than I should have. So I'm going to try to be very careful and uh, not get too much orange on it. The, um, the bolter is orange. Thanks, Max. Uh, a good online friend gave me some very good hints on painting yellow. So I'm thinking about making uh, the bolter yellow. I just, I just really like yellow at the moment. But we're working on it. So, yeah, the bases are made out of Sculpey. And then Sculpey Bake Clay. And then I decorate them. This one's a bit older. It's not, not the ones that I've been making in this the latest kind of series with the, the sand and the, the nice rock crevice. But repurposed legs from, um, I, I think it's a Raptor, a Chaos Raptor. So... He's a little bit closer in his um, his journey, this particular guy's journey into uh, championhood, and so he's got um, some old old chaos legs. All right, and just a quick dry brush of the orange, and. You'd sit there and let that dry. Uh, but like a baking show, I went ahead and prepared this time. And I have a version that's ready to go with the... Oh yeah, the blue wash, the teal wash. And um, I came up with this teal totally by accident. It's not what I was intending. And I use it for... Uh, my guys in leather, bla leather black trench coats. Still working on the plasma gun. And he is going to be one of the alternates. So I can have... Uh, 
I'm thinking of going with, uh, what is it? Just nine regular tactical Marines. And then, making sure that we are in focus. Then a couple sergeants. Well, I guess eight regular Marines, two sergeants, two special weapons, and uh, the heavy bolter. And I'm going with the heavy bolter so that, you know, they can be versatile. I can have a nice squad of um, Devastator squad with four heavy bolters. I'd like that. And um, I only prefer the heavy bolters because of the sound that they make. You know, it's, it's soothing. It reminds me of this, the Seahawk win. And it will become a more subtle effect as it dries. And this guy's uh, washer base fell off, so I will have to replace that. Because he has already had his blue teal. If I uh, look at my notes, after the blue teal, it should come a yellow dry brush. So. I only started working with yellow. I used to avoid yellow like the plague for the longest time. And his bolter, of course, will get a yellow dry brush, but I'm not gonna, not gonna worry about that just yet. A little green there, so I'm just gonna pick a different brush real quick. That's what I hate about the yellows. It'll, it'll, it'll touch the blue paper for all I know. And, Too much yellow. Need to. I have to go to work later. My my awesome job that I love and I've loved for quite a long time. And I need to get out of the habit of painting on myself because you know I do food service. And you know um, <laughs> if you come in with black thumbs, people notice food service. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. My, yeah, it wasn't even in camera, I don't think. But yeah, I'm putting it on a way too much, way too heavy on the yellow. Much more heavier than I meant, but it's okay. Little happy crevices. Uh, it's okay, because we're going to go over with the uh, orange again. And it's really going to bring that, that down. Is this going to dry enough? A little, little bit of yellow. Don't want any pigment hardly on the brush, dry brushing. Just hardly any. This guy will, will turn out nice. And where are we at with him? Yeah, he is he is definitely gonna want uh, a bit of orange dry brushing again. And the one we just gave it a bit of teal is drying nicely, it seems. Even though we're going back over with the orange, it's it's retaining that beautiful yellow nicely, I feel. And we'll go over with a little bit of orange again after the black wash. So we get the, um, the bright, really saturated spots. I got one piece over here by this right foot. 
that's problematic. Oop. Got it. And let's see, that's that's how we are doing on bases. They will eventually get the um, the black sand treatment, which I, I think turned out really well, especially on this guy here. I don't know if I can show that well or not. And I've uh, I've reorganized my painting area. Let's see, are we in focus? If I can catch the, the this this black sand that that I found under an eroding, I know my hands shake a bit. Found under an eroding cliff was just the greatest black sand. So very happy about that. And thank you much. I I can't really tell because of the angle of the phone I'm using to record that if I'm in focus or not. So thank you very much, everyone, for your patience. And very very soon I will be working on another tank. All right. Thank you.